so guys i'm in the middle of doing my eyeshadow and all of a sudden this eyeshadow palette is reacting with my eyes as you can see Whew. so i'm going to discontinue using this palette oh shoot Whew. hold it I'm going to discontinue using this palette, but this tutorial has to go on. And uh, because I wanted to use the golden in this palette, I'm going to use a naturalista. And I hope there won't be any more reaction with my face. hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here you are rolling with bing queen b and on today's um makeup tutorial i am going to take you through step by step full face makeup from zero to actually looking gorgeous so first of all i want to thank all the 350 people who decided to trust me with their you know scales and uh, subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed please we need to get the rocket up so make sure you subscribe like this video and comment and uh let's just say i'll see you in the next video but for now let's get into this video shall we so before we go far my background is on that other side i've been thinking on how to find this curtain up here because the microphone is still an issue so this is also going to be a talk through i'm going to talk as steps by step and i hope you enjoy the video so before you apply uh, your makeup you need to prep your face your face need to be prepped so that it can create that barrier for your makeup and at the same time it can hold your makeup well until the hours that you want it to so the first thing that i went with is rose water i use this to tone my face after washing and then i go in with niacinamide from the ordinary and then I go in with uh, sunscreen and this is from Copper Tone. It is a spray sunscreen. And then after that, I join in with Nivea Perfect and Radiant Even Tone um, Day Cream. It also has a SPF of 15. And after prepping your skin, we have to use um, a primer. So I have combination skin, so meaning that some close, some pores are clogged and some pores are opened. So I'm going to use Zaron. This is an oil-free, and I'm going to apply it on my T-zone because this is the area that is always really oily. So I'm going to apply this. And then I'm going to use also this Zaron face primer and that I'm going to apply on my dry areas. So first things first I like to do is to always do my eyebrows out before I do any other thing because I always find it much easier and faster after doing my makeup, after doing my eyebrows. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to go in with this is Prestige in uh, black brown. And uh, this is Davies in number three. So first, I'm going to use a spoolie to just comb my eyebrows and make it easier to tame.
to clean out my eyebrows i am going to use a maybelline fit me in the shade six so what i normally do is i start uh, cleaning my eyebrows from near the arch going all the way outwards and then take my foundation and clean it from this side I am going to use Clinique Avon Better. So this is a foundation that I found out yesterday that is for a combination skin. And I'm just lucky I still have it. It's almost finished, but <laughs> we'll make use of what we have. So, yep. For my eyelids, I've lost my primer. I am going to use this Fit Me Maybelline in the shade 40. And for my eyeshadow, I am going to use this Mari Daddy in Volume 2. It is from Rina Beauty. And this has become one of my favorites because of the pigmentation. So I'm going to go in first with this shade. This shade is called Plum. And then I'm going to go in with that Peachy. And then for my cut crease, I am going to go in with the Golden. We'll start with this, this, then that. I'm going to cut my crease with this Fit Me in the shade 80. For eyeliner, I am going to use a Muse. It is a black eyeliner. Uh, I'm going to apply uh, mascara and one of my favorite mascaras is this Sky High Lash Lash Sensational Lash Sensational Listen, I come <laughs> from the leg side so Lash Sensational Lash Sensational Jesus Christ, okay, Lash Sensational Oh Jesus Christ 
lash sensational oh you, you know what you understand it's sky high from maybelline i love it because of the one the one is kind of rubbery and it uh, goes on to my eyes very smoothly it doesn't smudge and it's it's just a beautiful thing Before you apply your foundation make sure that your sponge is damp not wet damp so i'm going to use clinique So my skin has texture and when I apply foundation, that texture comes out even more vivid and brighter than how it is without foundation. So if you see bumps on my face, just know I am a woman of texture. So if you have noticed my forehead, I don't use my forehead and my nose. I don't use much product. I use the remnants is because I my hairline starts from I don't know. I don't think I even have a forehead anyway. So my hairline starts from here and it's like it's going to meet with my eyebrow. Just a little distance left to meet with my eyebrow. So I don't like putting much product because blending it will be a problem. So I use the remnants. That is what I've been using since to just tap it in but even with the remnants you can still see my hairlines are not blending well so i'm going to take some time to just blend it out so i'm going to use these two uh, concealer shades 9 the 40 and 60 to lighten up my under eyes my nose bridge my chin and a little bit on my forehead For setting powder, I am going to use Carson's Baby. This has been my favorite baking powder because, as I always say, it doesn't give me a flash when I do, like, flash cameras. It leaves me with that fine look. So, that I, I like using it. And For contour, I'm going to use Cover Girl. It says here it's an eyeshadow enhancer, but I use this as a contour because it is the perfect shade for me. See what I'm talking about?
to warm up my face i am going to use a fit me in the shade 375 java blush i am going to use a muse in the shade hot pink and for my cheeks a highlighter i am going to use um streetwear pressed uh, powder in the shade Angel Glam. So I'm going to apply some of that highlighter um, on my cupid's bow. I don't have like that double line that's so distinct. For my lips, I'm going to go in with a uh, matte from uh, Amuse in the shade 4 and 10 so four is the brightest and 10 is kind of on the dark side it kind of look like purple but when you wear it it doesn't come out that purple and this one is pink so i need a bright colors today and my red was over so i'm just going to use what i have as per now um so um the lightest shade that i wanted to do um what do we call it uh an ombre was not uh pinking so i just decided to go with this lip shade and i'm just going to apply lip gloss on top of it because me and lip gloss we went to the same high school so <laughs> to go in with milani in um buzz buzz worthy So, baby, the gloss is a glow singer. <laughs> oh, I love my lips. So, for a makeup fix, I am going to use rose water, and this is also for combination skin and dry skin. So for my waterline, I am going to use that same um, pencil, the Prestige pencil, and just line my waterline. For my tear duct, I am going to use Jordana in Shea. I think that's not in the shade Ice. 